the main spiritual teachings of all the prophets and messengers, including our beloved Guruji, Guru Nanak, and our beloved latest Guru of all, Guru Govind Singh. The essence of their teachings, Jitna Bhagavan ka avatar sadhu sant aya thi, ki aya tha. To un log ka jitna bani hai, un ka saar bachan jo hai, o hum bolne chate hai. I like to say the essence of all the teachings that God has sent through all His messengers on this earth. And if we remember them, if we follow, we will be saved. First message he gave through all messengers that there is one God, there is one Lord of love, there is one Guru in the universe. The Spirit of Guru called Holy Spirit. And through that spirit, God works. God cannot directly work on anybody. Electricity cannot work without a metal or a medium. So Guru is a carrier of God's spirit. And through Guru's spirit, that spirit works in our life. Second message, you can achieve the spirit of God through <coughs> Not only the Guru Spirit, but also the Holy Spirit, which is in you, in form of love, in form of faith, in form of wisdom. Love works in the heart. Faith works in the mind and wisdom works in your conscience. And there is another one by energy, by service, which works in our body. So body, heart, mind and conscience, we can carry the Spirit of God as energy, love, faith and wisdom. Third message, that love your guru and thy environment as you love yourself. Fourth message, is very important. <clears throat> All are important. Fourth one is, do unto others 
as you wish to be done by. Dusra ko sat isa bebar karna, isa pyar karna, isa seva dena, jo bebar se aap log khush hota hai. Ohi bebar. Bebar ka matlab hai ke isa unko dusra ko sat baat karna, ke isa dusra sat बिहेव करना कैसे दूसरा को साथ प्यार करना सेवा करना जिससे भगवान संतुष्ट हो हम लोग को चिंता बख व्यवहार सेवा चाल चलन जो कुछ हमारा ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर एक्ट एंड रिएक्ट करते हैं मतलब यही है जे हमरा फैमिली होम सर्विस सोसाइटी जो कुछ हम लोग करते हैं वो उनको सेवा में उनको संतुष्ट करना है इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट एनीथिंग दैट वी डू एट आवर होम और इन सोसाइटी और इन पॉलिटिक्स और इन any aspect of life let every expression of our words behavior attitude service must please god in others not to please everybody because to please everybody is to please their complexes to please their ego to please their weaknesses and they will be happy temporarily they will be pleased but to please god in our parents in our family in our children in our friends and to please that we have to learn the exact time for others to receive us or to reject us exact measurement of our words and behavior hum log jab khana pakata hai when we cook our food we know the measurement of salt chilies measurement of everything for our palate so our behavior will be measured rightly measured it should not be too much then it will turn bitter we should not be less exact measured and anything that measures in our life is called mother nature so that is another essence of teachings that you should know the measurement of talk not too much argument with husband or friends no stop somebody will say stop listen there are many ideas comes to say to utter to speak but that must be filtered by your conscience is it comfortable to others or i am irritating others <coughs> or i am causing problem to others or i am just hurting others if you hurt anybody god is minus from you if you exalt anybody god is plus plus with you to to worship god or guru the creation is made how you behave with your cat dogs how you behave with your car with your motorcycle with your shoe with your every day to day life how you behave with your family is it comfortable to them 
or you are rough? Is it pleasing to them? And if you can please in your every behavior to your circumstance, environment, so that they will be exalted, they will be corrected, they will be adjusted to their being and becoming, then you are really worshipping your Guru and God. Next teachings that in human being there is a suspicion and doubt always because of their own wrong behavior they doubt themselves, own self. There is a doubt about own self and they project that doubt to everybody. Oh, he has got some intention to rob my money. Oh, he has got some intention to rob my wife. Oh, he has got some intention just to attack me. Oh, he has got some intention. Always doubt. If you cannot trust your wife or husband or your friend, you cannot love. Love flows through trust, understanding, mercy, tolerance, patience, forbearance. Others' love doesn't work. Some emotion is working. Oh, he belongs to me and I have to take him care and enjoy. This is not love. So next teaching is understand the purity of love. What is love? Understand what is faith in God or Guru. Your identity of your reality in your Guru is your faith. And more you follow the teachings of Guru and be benefited, you achieve that faith more and more. Faith means when you follow and know, then the result is called faith. Follow, understand and know, and that knowledge is your faith. And most powerful men or women on earth are those who are most faithful, full of faith in their Guru, in their Holy Spirit, in God. Through faith one can cross the mountain, one can do any miracle. So faith is so powerful. Faith is a cementing factor to make everyone feel one with his Guru or God. And he is equally powerful as Guru and God. So faith is so powerful. Christ always talked about my Father, my Father. Guru Nanak Ji said, oh, Bhagavan ka ho oh, isar ka kripa se sab hota hai. I am not doing anything. It is He who is doing through me is a faith. They are great because of their faith. They are great because of their love. They are great because of their dedication and service. They are great because of their identification of their being with their Father and His creations. And follow it. To follow your Guru is to follow that spirit of identification as He identified Himself. You identify yourself accordingly. Next essence of all teachings that religion means being and becoming. 
to live with others, to live and let live. You cannot live yourself alone. You need oxygen, sunshine, you need water, you need love, you need care, you need everything. From the birth you know how much you are looked after by your parents, by your friends. So the essence is that your existence depends on other circumstances and other existence. Religion means to exist with others that are responsible for your existence and those for whom you are responsible for their existence. Let live. Live and let live. Live with others and grow with others. You have to grow day by day. <coughs> so to live and to grow and the principles are common for all. And principles of being and becoming is called religion. And spiritual life means the spirit with which one follows that religion. Spiritual life means who finds the spirit in every step of life in material life. What is the spirit? and the investigation of the causes of what, how, where, when, in what way I have to proceed. This investigation creates the wisdom through the conscience. So, Spiritual life means to be aware of every moment-to-moment -moment knowledge beyond all darkness and ignorance. Spiritual life means to acquire that amount of love, sacrifice for others. Spiritual life means to be more and more conscious about your reality. Who are you? You are not a bone and marrows and flesh and some sensual organs just to enjoy. You are beyond it with so much ideas, so much heaven of art, nature, culture, with so much wisdom understanding. So go to your higher and higher life within you, which is called spiritual life. And material life is the perfection in every action, right behavior and words with others, serviceable, active, no idleness, no fear but courage, all belonging to the body, mind and day-to-day -day life to evolve, to grow physically, in economic, financially, with many friends, expansion, that is the physical aspect of life, material life. And all the prophets indicated that you grow both material and spiritually. This is the message to the world. If you ignore your material life and run after spiritual life, you will fail. I once failed when I was roaming in Himalayas, ignoring the material life, just in search of God, in yogos and tantras and mantras and so many ways I was trying, I realized a bird has got two wings, matter and spirit. Our life should go both materially and spiritually. Then there are some more 
spiritual spark or material spark in life. You cannot live without the support of government, police, doctors, your social workers, your friends, your family, because they are all useful to you. So the last but one message that you must have five communication of your life, one with government, with social worker, with police, with doctors, with those which are useful to your life. That is called your life with the public. You must have communion and friendship with them. It will be very powerful. <coughs> Secondly, you must have proper relation, understanding. You should have family conference while eating or while sitting. What is your problem? What you want? What is necessary? Don't be greedy for these things. You can manage with one clothing. Don't worry for this. I have to send some money to my parents to India or I have to manage within this money. I have to give something to Guru Baba. I have to do this thing, that thing. Uh, just family conference. So your life with public, with life with family. Then with the life with your Guru. Guru Gun Sahib is waiting for you to sit in his presence, take his messages, his inspiration, your life with your Guru, either in the morning or the evening, or in your mind all the time. Then your life with those dearest and nearest one who inspire you towards your guru, towards your family, towards your public, friends, and they are very limited soul. As I am friend to you all, I am your Baba, <coughs> James, X, Y, Z, you must have communion with them through letters, through phone, through mental telepathy, you must have communion with it. And your life with all the, your bank balance, your source of income, your the boss, your subordinates, your world of your business, the world of your profession, your students or your this, that, or if you are a military officer as Captain Somerville has come, his boss, colonel and subordinate, lieutenant, sergeant, sergeant major and all other circumstances of his battalion, he must be aware of his profession rightly. No negligence there. And last communion, is communion with yourself. You must take some time in your day where you should be alone, either in toilet, bathroom, or under a sky, or in the car while driving alone. You must have some time to your own to make a credit and debit balance where you are wrong, where you are right, how you can correct your self, what is self-auto-suggestion, self-introspection, self-adjustment with your own self, you must have some time to do it. This is the message of God to you all. And last message of all the prophets and saints and gurus, You always carry your guru as your head, as your heart, 
as your soul, as your vehicle. Let Guru become your guiding force. All the time be one with Him. You are saved and you become the Savior of the world. And I believe the new spirit of all Gurus already started at the maximum and climax condition of the world, threatened by the atomic war, nuclear war, chemical warfare, threatened by so much disorder and so much sectarianism, killing each other, chaos, famine in utopia, here, there, everywhere, chaos, chaos, the worst possible chaos on the earth. And at this climax of all chaotic condition of human life, with so much fear, suspicion, doubts, and tears, and shouting, and emotional, oh, ah, oh, ah, the time has come that the Holy Spirit is already landed on earth. It is working to cripple Paul means leader, who maintains the life is called Paul. Bhagavan ka kripa, Guru ka kripa, kripa mutlub hai, karke pao, karo pao, jaisa karega, oise milega. Bhagavan bolte hai, je kripa, mera kripa hai, tu jaisa karega, oise milega. Ye formula hai. मेरा कृपा तेरा कर्म को भीतर तेरा व्यवहार का भीतर तेरा बाक व्यवहार सेवा के अंदर मेरा कृपा मेरा आशीर्वाद तो वही है गुरु गंत साहब मेरा आशीर्वाद है उनको बचन से हम सब कुछ तुमको दिया इसलिए उनको कृपा सब को अंदर में कर चलते हैं इसलिए सबको सत्प्यार करो सबको श्रद्धा करो सबको अंदर में कुछ असली चीज ले लो जैसे जब श्रद्धा करेगा तो भगवान उनको से बात करेगा जब अश्रद्धा करेगा तो डेविल बात करेगा स्वामी को श्रद्धा करो देगा ओ गुरु उनको भीतर से तुम्हारा सत्प्यार करेगा Swami will do an argument with the Swami, and the Swami and the husband will be the devil. Violence or anger or this, that. So as you will cook your environment, as you will behave, so you will get. It's a reflection. As you will throw the ball, the ball will come back. So everybody is a part of the reflection. And there is the highest truth. इसलिए हर एक धर्म के अंदर में यही बात है तुम आदमी के भीतर से भगवान का प्यार करो उनको श्रद्धा करो श्रद्धा से सब कुछ मिलता है श्रद्धा से प्रेम मिलता है श्रद्धा से ज्ञान मिलता है श्रद्धा से प्यार मिलता है श्रद्धा से यूनियन मिलता है श्रद्धा से आनंद मिलता है इसलिए श्रद्धा करो सब कुछ श्रद्धा करो वो टेप रिकॉर्डर यह पढ़ाई इसको श्रद्धा करो इसको साफा करो इसको पूजा करो वो जूता का श्रद्धा करो वो तुमको पाको मजबूत रखते हो ठंडा से सब कुछ को श्रद्धा करो ये तुमको सेवा करता है इसको श्रद्धा करो सब कुछ श्रद्धा करो सब चीज के अंदर में भगवान मिल जाएगा यह 
آخری بات ہے لاسٹ ورڈ یو پے ریسپیکٹ ٹو ایوری تھنگ ریسپیکٹ ایوری ایٹم ریسپیکٹ یور کار ٹیک کیئر ٹاک وتھ یور کار ریسپیکٹ ایوری تھنگس بلانگنگ ٹو یو دے آر سروگ یو یور اسپون از گوئنگ آن سروگ یو بٹ یو سمپلی کلین اٹ اینڈ تھرو اٹ بٹ یو کیپ اٹ وتھ لو ایوری ایٹمک مولیکولر کنڈیشن آف دا اسپون کیریز دی وائبریشن آف دیٹ لو یو کین سی آئی کین سی اٹ 